Essentially, the goal of an air conditioner is to absorb heat energy into the refrigerant. The more heat energy that's in the refrigerant, the less heat energy is in the room. And the AC does this with four key components. A compressor, the pressure increaser, a condenser, the heat rejector, and an evaporator, the heat absorber. ACs also use an expansion valve to regulate the flow of refrigerant and reduce its pressure as it enters the evaporator, thus maintaining a stable temperature. The compressor circulates the refrigerant through a series of valves and coils, and as it enters the evaporator inside the room, the pressure decreases, and the refrigerant turns into vapor. This pressure change allows heat to absorb into the coils, and during this process, the surrounding air cools down and is blown into the room. When you spray a can of compressed air, you can feel a similar effect. As you decrease the pressure of the can, the contents cool, and heat is reabsorbed into it. Now, back to the AC. The heat it absorbed from the room is now in the refrigerant. When the hot vapor enters the compressor, it is compressed into a superheated vapor. As this vapor exits the compressor and flows through the condenser, the condenser's heat sinks help transfer heat out of the vapor, cooling it and condensing it back into a liquid. While this occurs, the hot air surrounding the condenser is blown outside, and the cycle continues.